We're good. Hey, Scott with Henry Beers again, here to give you a few updates on the Unilock display expansion. About a week into the progress. Uh, elevated section of U cars coming up quite nicely. Got all the XL backers done for the retention part. And now we're transitioning onto the standard backers for the seat holes. Got our natural stone step tracks and coping leading into the race uh, patio area that will showcase the natural stone. Then we can take you around this way and show you a little bit about what's going on back here. XL backers, the face shells are still showing on the whole back as well as the behind the seat wall and on the insides. The standard backers allow you to put panels on both outside and inside for seat wall applications, where the XL backers still allow to show the retention part where the opposite side isn't that important. We are showing all colors, um, pitched and smooth face shells to show you the different combinations of colors and textures you can apply using this system. natural stone step treads and coping leading into the opposite side of the raised elevated area. Installed some Arcana slabs in a 45 degree running bond pattern leading into the Yukara modular grill cabinet. This is a really cool system that Yukara allows you to do because these cabinets come pre-made and pre-welded to allow you to hang these face shells on without any heavy block stacking. They're always interchangeable. You can use any combination of smooth, textured, and colored face shells. If at any time years down the road you want to interchange these for something new that might have come out, it's easy to do. This is also made out of aluminum and very lightweight, so it's portable. So if at any point throughout your process you need to move this around, it's not like you've already glued and stacked heavy block systems, so it's easy to be able to transport from one part of your project to the other. Offers you a wide array of different components too. Now we're showing just the basic cabinet system but you have end clads that will allow you to do fort or, uh, corners to a return in for a 90 degree if you wanted to do an L-shaped bar island. You can inset grills, sinks, anything in the top. You get any custom countertop you want made for that too, so the options are endless virtually in terms of what this modular system is going to allow you to do. In this front part here, we're actually going to do a nice little rug inlay with the new three colors of copthorn and basalt, steel blue, and arctic gray. It'll be a nice mix of three color herringbone. There's a little rug in front of the modular cabinet to show you some other just neat, you know, design ideas to think outside the box a little bit more. We talked last week about the hex paver using the fuel blend. So we've got granite fusion and dark charcoal peppered into the field. And to throw another little bit of creative design in it, we implemented some astroturf in the hex shapes too, just to show you all the endless options you can do with these types of pavers. Lastly, we have the brand new color of Beacon Hill Smooth in Tuscany. Tans and browns seem to be making their way back into a lot more designs. And now that that is, you know, becoming more popular, we're going to show this new light brown and tan color with a dark brown mocha border. We've got a Linneo pillar cap, or Linneo pillar, using a Linneo pillar cap here as well. So, yeah, things are moving along quite nicely. One weekend should hopefully be wrapped up in the next week or two, but. We'll keep you posted with more updates. Thank you.